Today I'm going to talk to you about how to change your password that you use to log into your device, Canvas, Microsoft Teams, Aspen, and Google Drive. We're going to make sure that we choose a password that is protected by you and that is safe. To begin, we're going to go to Canvas and you'll go to your WSMS Students Canvas course. Teachers, please feel free to pause this video as needed while your students are going through it. Once I'm in the course, I'm going to scroll down to where I have our buttons. I've created a button that says Student Password Manager. This will take us to the site where we'll change our password. Before we can begin, a couple of things you should know. Your password should be at least eight characters long. It should be a combination of letters with capital letters, numbers, or even symbols. You want to be sure that it is not something someone else can guess, but it is also something that you can remember. You should only share this password with an adult in your household. Do not share this with any friends or anyone else around. You want to guard it carefully. Let's get started. Once you're here, you're going to enter your username. Your username will be S and your ID number only. I'm going to select the ID number of a student that I got permission for previously. It might have a CAPTCHA below here where we'll have to look at the image and type in letters. If it does, be sure you do that step. Once you've signed in, you should see your name and ID number. If it's not you, be sure that you click here. Now that I'm in this part, I want to make sure that I can set some security questions and answers. This will help you if you ever do forget your password so you can reset it. Click My Questions and Answers profile. Here it's going to ask for your current password, not the new password yet. Make sure you type your current password. And now it'll take you to security questions and for you to put your answers. This student has already previously selected security questions and answers, so they're already there. If you've done this in the past, you'll see this as well. You can always change the ones that you have. If you want to hide your answers, you can click here and it'll just have stars. That helps guide it, for guide it carefully for security purposes. Once you're done selecting, you'll click Next. Teachers, this would be a good part to pause the video to allow students to select their security questions and answers. Once you're done, select Next. Now we'll click Go to Home Page. The next step will be to actually change your password. We'll do that where it says Manage My Passwords. Again, this is where you're going to select or type in your previous password. This is your old password, the one that you use now. Now you'll select your new password. This will be the password that you're changing it to. You'll have to type it in twice to be sure that it is accepted. Once you're done, click Next. Now your password has been successfully changed. Click Go to Home Page. At this point, you're done. It was very easy. Now that we've selected our new password, you'll click Log Out. You'll have to sign out of your Chromebook and sign back in to use your new password. You'll also be prompted to type in your new password to your previous sites such as Canvas, Microsoft Teams, Aspen, or your Google Drive, possibly even some online textbooks if you've used your password for those. Just remember to please keep your password safe, and if you ever feel like someone has your password, let a teacher or an administrator know so we can take care of it. You can always change your password by going through the steps that we just did. Again, the link will stay on your student Canvas course page. If you have any questions, please reach out to a teacher or you can always send Mrs. Hipshire a message through Canvas. Have a great day.